XOR gate is the inverse of an XNOR gate and vice versa. What it does is it... Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this staircase. Did I really just mess that up that badly? Hey guys, I'm Ben and welcome back to another episode of One Wide Way Shown. Um, today we're going to be looking at the XOR gate. Uh, next episode we're going to be looking at the XNOR gate. The XOR gate is the inverse of the XNOR gate and vice versa. What it does is it makes your input, you have two inputs and each input uh, always toggles the output. So no matter what your input is, it will always be toggling the output. Now to make this, we put two repeaters down. We put one there, we then put a block above this repeater and we put a, we put a, yeah. Uh, yeah, like that, <laughs> and then we make this into a sort of like a, a diamondy shape, like that. So we have that diamond shape. Next, we want to put a piece of redstone in the middle and on top. We then put a torch on this block and on the side of this block, with two redstone underneath it, leading into a block that has a torch on top of it, feeding into another block which has oh that was that was wrong. Another block which has another torch on top of it. This torch here is going to um feed into uh, this redstone piece here and a torch that will go into this block. The output is here so you can bring that out and we have our two inputs so if it's off at the moment and we flick it on you'll see that we have it on and if we flick it again uh, oh it's a redstone repeater so and if we flick it again then we'll see it goes off. Now if we turn off this one it will be on so no matter what state we put it in it will always toggle from what it was last time. So this is a very useful mechanism for if we want something that toggles, <laughs> uh, to put it specifically. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Hey guys, I'm like.